What's up, gang? It's Willie Rebuild, baby. Back with another one. Yes, sir. As you can see, old Willie Rebuild still collecting parts. Went and picked up the old bracket from the lady. Had all the parts to go to it, as you can see. And also, I did a little wheeling and dealing with the Cutlass Man and got these uh umi brackets trailing arms anyway for the other monte carlo the hard top um had to give up my ls3 heads i really didn't want to do that game but sometimes you gotta do what you gotta do so i went ahead and traded him the heads for the umi trailing arms and also I did a trade with him for the cross member. That was the little deal we worked out. The heads for the cross member and the trailing arms. It was only the cross member, but I had the extra brackets from another call. I didn't use them. And uh, that'll work out beautiful. So now I got everything I need to sit the engine in the hard top call. I got my cross member, I got my motor mounts, and I got my headers. So I got everything I need to sit it in there. The only thing I need accessory wise for the engine is the alternator bracket, and that's no big deal. Right now, I just got all this stuff just sitting on here and mocked up, so it's not scattered all around the garage, but I'm gonna go ahead and break this engine back down i'm gonna work with these heads i got i'm gonna send them out and get them cnc bigger valves in them and then i'm gonna send the block out to do what i'm gonna do with the block game and also i got my transmission sitting right there for it as well so i got everything i need to sit the engine and trans in the coat but we not we not gonna do this call like we doing ratness. We gonna get every part that we need. So in two weeks, the swap is done. It's not gonna be sitting like this here. But ratness won't be sitting for long cause my deadline is next year. So I don't know what month and what day, but next year she gonna be on the streets. As soon as I get back, because I got to make a run. I'm in the middle of a lot of things right now. As soon as I get back, I'm going to drop the rain off and get that done. As y'all know, we got everything in the box to do what we need to do with that. So as soon as I get back, I'm going to drop the rain off, get everything done to the rain, put it back under the car so the car can be operable again, gang. Now... We gonna take a ride over to the shop. I'm gonna cut y'all back on once we get to the shop and y'all can see where I'm at on the 87 Monte Carlo. Yes, sir. All right, gang, we done made it on over here to the shop. Actually, it's a few days later. Um, little wind noise right now, but we doing something different. I went ahead and pulled the old headliner out of the Monte Carlo. And as you can see, we got a little duct tape and stuff up there. So that let me know that the previous owner, they've been in the car and repaired the headliner before. And um, what we gotta go ahead and do now, gang, is we got a little situation. That's right, we got a little situation. Got the motor sitting there. I'm gonna get back with y'all on that in a minute. But right now, we got our other job we doing now. So as you can see, the headliner board is cracked. The previous owner, he uh he went up under there and he probably tried to, he probably replaced the headliner before cause it was sagging. And as you can see, he didn't have much glue on the headliner. This is the glue that he put down 
and it's not much of that on there. So that's why it started sagging in the middle. Cause as you can see in the middle, he don't have much glue. But what he did in the process of taking it out of there is he cracked those two ends. So what I'm gonna have to do, because I don't want to have to buy a new board. So what I'm gonna have to do is, he had this hole in there with some duct tape. So what I'm gonna do is, I'm gonna, uh, I'm gonna go run to the house and get some fiberglass and some tape because I don't have no tape in here. You can see this was his little repel. He used some duct tape, but the ends of it is still flimsy with the duct tape. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put it back, put the pieces back in there how they go. I'm gonna tape them from in the inside and I'm gonna try to fiberglass on the backside because we can't fiberglass on the front side because you're gonna see the uh, fiberglass probably in the headliner. So I don't wanna um, put the fiberglass on the front side so I just put it on the back side because the board is not too firm anyway. It's kind of flimsy. So that's what I'm gonna try to do to solve that problem. And if I can't fix it, I guess I'll just have to buy a new headliner. That's why sometimes with this shit, it's good to leave it alone and leave it be. But uh, the headliner was starting to be aggravating to me because it was sagging. Sometimes the headliner touching my head while I'm driving and all that there. So it got to be aggravating. So what I'm gonna do is, I'm gonna run to the house, get the tape and stuff, see if I can start getting everything situated and see if we can save the headliner board. If not, we are gonna have to get the upgraded board, but I'm gonna try to save it, gang. So I'm gonna run and get the stuff I need, and then I'm gonna cut y'all back on once I get back with the material that I need to try to save the board, gang. Will it rebuild, baby? All right, gang, I done made it back with the supplies. And as you can see, I went ahead and taped the piece in from the bottom side and I'm gonna put the fiberglass on the roof side, the side that's gonna go up to the roof. I'm only gonna put one sheet on it. I mean, the board is not that firm and strong. It's an old board, the original board that done been repaired before. Well, the headliner done been changed before. So to stop from buying a new headliner, I'm just gonna fiberglass those pieces in. I already got my resin right here. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go ahead and mix the resin and get the fiberglass laid and I'm gonna cut y'all back on once I get the fiberglass laid, gang. It's Willie Rebuild, baby. We got a little action going on here today. Trying to make a few little repairs on the hard top. Yes, sir. All right, gang, so as y'all can see, we done went ahead and laid down the fiberglass on the backside. This right here, just hanging over the edge a little bit. So once it dry all the way up, I trim that down. And we went ahead and did this side too. Just trying to save the board, gang. Don't want to buy a new board right now, as you can see. Got another little crack in the board here. Got a big crack going over there. Not really worried about, um, got another little crack here on the side. So I'm not really trying to fix every crack on the board. I mean, probably the best thing would be is to just replace the board. But right now, we ain't trying to do all that. Um, should come out pretty decent once I get it done and it's dried up. Um, got the fabric in the car that I ordered from Dixie Restoration. This the uh, material right here. And um, 
like I see, should come out pretty good once I get everything cleaned up and glued down. Uh, for sure, it'll be better than it was before. The headliner was sagging, sagging out, touching my head. Can't really ride with the windows down. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna let that go ahead and dry. And then we are gonna turn it over and start our process of cleaning the board and getting the material laid out so we can glue it down, gang. So I'm gonna let this go ahead and dry, cut y'all off, cut y'all back on. Once this dry, we are gonna start cleaning the uh, board off, the glue off the board and getting everything laid out and ready to um, go back in the car, gang. Yes, sir. All right, gang, we back, baby. Finished product. Old headliner glued down. As you can see, it's looking a hundred times better than what it did before. And it's time for old Willie Rebuild to put it back in the car. I'm gonna cut y'all back on once I get it in the car, cause it's about to get dark on me in about an hour. So I'm trying to have it all wrapped up so I can put it back in and ride it on back home with my new headline in that game. Yes, sir, I'm gonna cut y'all back on in a minute when I get it in and uh, show y'all what I use to do it with, gang. Willie Rebuild, baby. All right, gang, go Willie Rebuild back, baby. And as you can see, old sun setting. Got everything wrapped up in the nick of time. And as you can see, she looking beautiful, gang. She looking beautiful. No more saggy headliner. As you can see, I mean, it ain't the best of lighting, I know, but it's getting dark and I ain't about to bring the cord and all that out. But take my word for it, we ain't got a saggy headliner no more. It's nice and tight up there and it's looking good, gang. Now the only thing I didn't put back was my real uh my sun visors. And that's only because I'm gonna have to do a little finagling in the hole. And I'm happy with what I got accomplished today. And I'll save that for tomorrow, gang. So I ordered the headliner from Dixie Restoration. Nice material, you know color match is perfect um i use this uh permatex automotive headliner adhesive and man this shit it's sticky gang i ain't gonna lie it's sticky yeah it's very sticky once you put it down there you barely can you barely can get you get it to come back off the off of the board and another thing the board was in such bad condition, I didn't wanna um, take the chance on trying to clean the glue. It wasn't a lot of glue on there. It wasn't a lot of, uh, it wasn't a lot of fabric stuck to it because the, the headline had been changed before. That's why it was sagging, but now I went ahead and um, just sprayed the glue directly on the board. I didn't want to take the chance in cleaning it, trying to clean it too much and damage it. So I sprayed the glue on the board, sprayed glue on the material and put it on there, gang. And it's nice and tight. I'm happy with it. Now, as for the old 6 we still waiting on a few parts to come in for that. I did go ahead and put the gas tank together um cleaned up the engine bay went ahead and put the mounts in i can't put the engine in because i don't have the uh i don't have the oil pump in it i don't have the head bolt yet i don't have the timing gear um i don't have the lifter trays 
So I'm missing some parts before I can put the engine back together. But hopefully I have those parts gang in the next few days. It's Willie Rebuild telling you, don't forget to like, share, comment, and subscribe. The old headline in the money is nice and tight, baby. It's Willie Rebuild over and out.